Um, what is up guys? Uh, this is Fulgro here. And uh, today I have something different. Today I don't have Gears of War or Team Fortress or Street Fighter. <clears throat> now this is uh, League of Legends. Now let's, uh, before I talk about uh, the game itself or before I say anything else related to the gameplay, let's just go back uh, to Warcraft 3. Now during the time of Warcraft 3, uh, some guy uh, created a game type called Dota and it quickly became very popular. Now <clears throat> the basic rules of Dota are each uh, player chooses a hero and or character and as he levels up the hero the main objective is destroy the enemy's defenses which are usually in the form of towers, enter their base and their story, the the core of their base, the center, the nexus, whatever you want to call it. Uh, now, this uh, this can be qualified as a uh, uh, real time strategy game slash tower defense game type. Now, obviously, this this uh, this game became very popular. Many people started playing it, and it spawned the sequel. Uh, so now we have Dota two. And it also, it, it spawned uh, League of Legends, which is inspired in the original Dota. Now, the main downside to Dota is it was, uh, it was just uh, something people did. It wasn't serious. It wasn't approved by Blizzard at the time. It was just something somebody did, and it became very popular. Now, League of Legends is exclusively uh, this game type. I don't know. Uh, I apologize. I will use Dota a lot of times as a reference. Uh, <clears throat> but that's uh, that's basically how I identify myself with it because I did play Dota a lot and this game is very different from Dota It looks very similar. The rules are similar, but it's still different different heroes different items different strategies So overall even though they might look similar. They're actually pretty different games Now that being said, let me explain the rules for those of you who have no idea how to play the game or how the rules work Each player like I said before chooses a hero now, the heroes, as they level up, they obtain new uh, abilities and they improve their attack, their health points, uh, their mana, whatever, you, whatever your hero has, it improves as you level up. Very simple to understand, um, this concept is not new at all, it's been used in many different games, and that's it, that, that's very simple. Now, like I said, this is a tower defense game. E in the, the game time I'm playing right now, it's a 3v3. This uh, League of Legends also has a 5v5. And in, in the 5v5, you have to protect, like, I don't know, 5 to 7 towers. I might be wrong, but that's what it feels like. In this game type, you only have to protect two to 3 towers. I'm sorry, 3 towers. And the way to do that is to level up your hero as fast as you can, eliminate the enemy heroes, and push up constantly. Now, once you do that and you get to the Nexus... Of the enemy then you can uh, you can eliminate this nexus and you win it's it, the rules are very simple very straightforward and there's really nothing complicated about it now even though it sounds very simple not so easy to get I mean there are there's a, a lot of teamwork that goes into this there's a lot of strategy that goes into this and most of the time if you're inexperienced with this game type you will die now, personally, I am a, a person with little patience, and I I am a rusher. You've seen my Gears of War gameplay. I usually don't stay back. I'm always in the front lines, so which is why it's hard for me to play this game. The hero I'm using is Malphite, and Malphite, uh, and uh, by the way, I apologize if I say the names wrong. I am still getting familiarized with this game. Uh, but Malphite it un falls under the category of tank. Now this this game has many many categories, which go from uh, warrior to mage to I don't know long range whatever. There's a lot of shit. <laughs> Let's just say there's a lot of shit and leave it there. Malphite is a tank. The good thing about the tanks is they are strong. They have uh, a lot of health, and Malphite specifically has a shield that. Is that uh, gray bar you see in my health? When you look at my health, the last bar is gray, which means that if I don't get wounded after 10 seconds, that shield goes up and it allows me to take some damage. So that's a pretty cool thing to have. Now, my special abilities are uh, I launch the first one, 
that you see on the far left is I launched a rock that you just saw. And I think it's a rock. I don't know. <laughs> Let's just say I launched a rock. And it's a, my kind of my long range attack. The second one I have is my I, it increases my attack. My fists become a bit stronger and I can deal more damage to the enemy. My third one is a ground pound. I hit the ground and everything within a certain radius uh, takes damage. And my last one, which is my most powerful attack, is a charge that I basically Malphite charges the enemy and if they're in a certain area, they, they, get, uh, they receive damage. They get, I guess you could say they get stunned. They go, they get airborne, and uh, I don't know. It's it's kind of hard to explain, but it's it's a pretty cool attack, especially when they're running away and you don't wanna you don't wanna let them escape. Now I am playing with uh, the with Dark Visions, aka Leo, aka Drizzly in this game. I don't know why he picked that name, but whatever. It's cool, I guess. Now as you can see, this, we're not doing so well. We, he they are pushing up, and our tower is losing health. Now, I'm doing the best I can, but I don't want to die at the same time. Because if you die, you give them experience points, and that's not good. So, I'm, I'm trying to be cautious. I'm waiting for my team. And eventually, I do receive some help from Drizzly. And uh, we managed to push them back. Uh, now, this uh, there's a lot of strategies that go into this game. Now, like I just mentioned, the one thing you don't want to do is give them free experience. You don't want to let them kill you when you know you can't win the fight. and Especially if it's a two-on-one. Because you're just going to let them rank up faster than you and eventually you're just going to lose. Now I learned that the hard, the hard way. I, I am a, When I started the game, I didn't really remember the rules. I mean, it's very similar from Dota, but not really. So I was kind of fussy in some of the rules. I still don't know the items. I mean, you'll see me buying items in, in this game, but they're very random items. I mean, I, usually I'm just asking Drizzly what to buy. What, what to buy. I'm sorry. And I end up buying the boots and whatever it suggests, which is kind of nice for the game to give you some suggestions. Uh, but overall, I am very clueless at this game, and I apologize. <laughs> I sincerely apologize. Uh, now, I uh, the 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 complaint I have about this game, and it's really not that big of a deal. It's just it's just a matter of personal preference. Is the fact that the games take very long. Now, this video might be it's gonna be like ten minutes. And they, it's going to be broken into three parts, each part 10 minutes long. And this is a 3v3, people. A 5v5 can take up to an hour and even more if you have pretty balanced teams. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention. The highest level you can rank up to is level 18. And what you want to do is what I'm doing right now is stay ne near the tower. Because the towers do more damage than the the minions who are the people you're seeing attacking do uh now what you want to do to rank up oh man i forgot to say a lot of shit i apologize what you want to do to rank up is kill the minions like you see right now i'm attacking one of them and i got experience points for killing him now you do get experience points for killing the hero but that's not an optimal solution for this game because you might end up dying uh, or they might ambush you and so overall, it's better to attack the minions. They're easier targets, and they're slower, and they're just not powerful enough compared to a hero. Now, what you're seeing right now, what that hero is doing with the, all the blue circles, he's basically teleporting to their base. Now, the good thing about that is that you can heal, you can uh, get some uh, some strength, your strength back, I mean, your mana, everything, everything goes back and you can attack again now right here the hero since it went back now we can push up on the tower but he's still around so we're just we're not gonna blindly attack the tower and uh, i don't know this game there are very there's a lot of mechanics that go into this game unfortunately i'm not gonna have enough time to tell you all of them today but this is